This exhibition in downtown Tunis retraces the main events that shook the country since the 2011 revolution. Abdurrahman is a 13-year-old elementary school student who was only five when the popular uprising took place in the North African state. I am a photographer. I'm here to learn about my country's history through photos, writings and art. I'm a child of the revolution. A few years ago, music bands and artists were not allowed to perform here on Habiburgiba Avenue, which is the main street in Tunis. The revolution gave hundreds of artists the right to show their talent anywhere in Tunisia. The 2011 revolution was a precursor of the movement Art and the Bridges. This two-kilometer-long bridge connects the north to the south of the capital city, Tunis. Hajar is a student at the Institute of Fine Arts. She is one of the painters who have created the giant wall art to celebrate freedom, dignity and beauty in Tunisia. This place was dark, sad and abandoned before the revolution. Now it attracts visitors from many countries. I've used different shapes, colors and themes in my work. The 27-year-old artist dreams of sharing her art and skill with other Tunisian youths in the inner regions where the revolution had started. I dream of organizing workshops and boosting collective art in the regions. The revolution-inspired work can change the face of towns and cities. Dreaming is legitimate. This is the spirit of the revolution. Over the past eight years, a tendency to hold concerts in the streets has spread across Tunisia. Street concerts are now very common. Dozens of young musicians have revived the cultural life in Tunisia's main avenues. Adin Shewashi, CGTN, Tunis.